What's up guys? How's it going on out there? My name is Jesus Quesadilla, and welcome back to Let's Play Grand Theft Auto 3. Oh, I always love this time of day, sitting down with a nice cool glass of water in my hand, video game controller in the other, ready to play some GTA. It's super cool to have you guys joining me here again today, thanks for coming on back. We are here outside of Sexy Asuka's apartment. And I think we're going to go ahead and kick off today's episode with doing another mission for her, so let's get right into it. Two-Face Tanner. Maria and I have gone shopping. Shopping for our what? More massagers? informed us that one of our drivers is a strangely animated undercover cop. He's more or less useless out of his car, so we've tagged it with a tracer. Wait, they if you were be... able to do that, why didn't you just blow it up? You know, rig it with explosives or something, like we've seen happen countless times throughout the game already? Oh well, let's go ahead and waste this guy. You know, I've started to notice a lot of characters in this game don't really communicate directly with the player. I think this is like the second time that Asuka has left us a note instead of actually appearing in person, and uh, Tony Cipriani did that a lot too back when we were still working with the Mafia. Then I also know that there's a bunch of payphone missions that I've been putting off that I'm gonna have to get to at some point. But um, I guess the point I'm trying to make is that I think that the game developers were just being lazy, like they didn't want to animate a bunch of cutscenes or something. So instead of actually having character models there to talk to, they just leave you notes. It's just so weird that this has happened so many times throughout the game, I feel like it was really intentionally done. But okay, I see a car over there, I'm guessing that uh, we're probably going to have to get this guy. I hope we're not following him because she said they put a tracer on the car. So actually that leads me to think that we're just going to be trailing him. Let's see. Yeah, because if we want to kill him, we should have just done it right then and there. Oh no, it says damage. Okay, let's just go ahead and ram into him, I guess, or let's shoot at him, actually. Oh, whoa, holy Jesus, four stars? Are you kidding me? Fucking Christ almighty. Okay, so this guy had, like, the entire Liberty City Police Department looking out for him, apparently. My god. Well, I only have to damage him a little bit more, it looks like, if I could just get a couple more shots off at him. Oh my god, all these cops are getting in my way, though. I'm starting to notice something about Grand Theft Auto 3. Um, it was kind of the same thing in Vice City, actually. Cars don't take a whole lot of damage to blow up in this game. Um, compared to, like, San Andreas and especially Grand Theft Auto 4. Um, in those games, cars could take a lot of punishment, but... Whoa, yeah, there you go. See, my car's already ready to explode. I mean, I only got hit by police cars a couple of times there, and my car just fell apart. Oh crap, okay, you know what? This is just great. This guy better not get away, I swear. Because that damage meter is like, that's filled up, right? Crap, I can't even drive away because there's so many goddamn cops. Oh my god, they're everywhere. They're jumping and flying and, oh my god, I'm just going to take a cop car. Try and sneak away while I can. Jesus, okay, um... God, I don't even have time to stop and catch my breath here. I gotta find this guy. Okay, he didn't get too far away. And, uh, actually, pretty cool thing. If you have a police car and you have the siren going, then traffic will move out of the way for you. So that might come in handy for this. Oh, wow, whoops, didn't mean to run you over there, my bad. All right, come on. If we can just, like, bump into this guy once, he's, like, ready to explode. Oh, come on. Really? Oh, why do they always have to run? Oh my god, oh jeez, there's a police van, alright. You know what, this is just too much, oh god. Um, oh my god, am I even going to be able to catch up with this guy? Shit. The physics in this game are just crazy. Anytime a car hits me, I go flying in the other direction. It's just insane. Okay, come on, we got this guy. Uh, did we get him? The damage meter's gone, do I have to go back and like run him over or something? Uh, let's go squash him like roadkill. Awesome. I'm gonna pop some tags. Got $20,000 in my pocket. Uh, I'm hunting, looking for a come up. This is fucking awesome. Alright, so it looks like Asuka's missions are done. So at this point, uh, why don't we go do Ray's? Because right now it looks like the only guys left for us to do missions for are Ray, that creepy cop we met in the bathroom, and Kenji. I'm gonna save Kenji's missions for later. Let's go ahead and meet up with this guy again. Because I'm really curious as to what his whole deal is. He took more bribes than anyone. Do you, like, live in here? God, isn't it embarrassing bringing women back to this place? He's under armed protection in which that property down in Newport. Some apartment behind a car park. Talks that place. That's it. Flush him out. Ah, flush him out. I see what you did there. He never talks to nobody. 
Okay, so if I caught the gist of that, I think we have to go get rid of some guy that's in witness protection. Yep, sounds like a plan. Oh, and hey, I still have a cop car from the previous mission. Um, granted, it's totaled and it may explode before I get there. But um, wouldn't it be cool if, like, I could walk right up to the guy pretending to be, like, an undercover cop because I have a car? I mean, I know it definitely won't be nearly that easy, but that would be kind of cool if I could. Alright, so this guy's actually pretty close over here. Let's go ahead and... I think he said he wanted me to torch the place, is that right? I wonder if he gave me, like, Molotovs or something to make that happen. Okay, so that must be the guy's apartment. How do I get up there? Um, what do you want me to do, game? Give me some direction here. Um, do I have to, like, snipe him? Oh, that's a hidden package over there. I don't want to grab that. Um, I'm going to save the hidden packages for a bonus episode, probably. So I'm not going to bother grabbing any of them until I do that, but... Is he even in there? It doesn't look like there's an occupant in that building. What does the game want me to do? Do I have to, like, go around? Is there, like, a front door I can go into? Um... I mean, my only thought is I have to, like, sneak in or something? Like, maybe there's a staircase I can use to get up higher? Because that's pretty high up off the ground, and I can't seem to shoot the guy if he's even in there. Oh, game. I'm developing a very strong love-hate relationship with this game. I mean, I love it because it's a Grand Theft Auto game, but I hate it because it's, in very many ways, completely unpolished compared to the more recent games. And I guess that's to be expected, but still. Like, this is just ridiculous. What am I supposed to be doing here? I'm running around like a chicken with its head cut off. Okay, I know that Ray said to torch the place. I assume maybe there are, like, Molotovs somewhere that I missed that I, like, walked by and I didn't notice. I guess I could try using my grenades, but I don't think I can even throw them that high, can I? Oh, no, I can. Oh, shit, well, I just blew up my getaway car, so that's great. Um, yeah, there's no real good way to aim these. And I'm kind of scared to get closer because when they bounce off the wall, they kind of come back at me. No, is this what I'm supposed to be doing? Maybe I don't need to go get Molotovs myself? Does the game expect me to do that? Oh, hey, that worked. Well, how was I supposed to know to do that? The game didn't say, use your grenades. Um, oh god, oh god. Okay, there are dudes shooting at me. Where are you, buddy? Let me just run you over. That might be easier. After having had a chance to play Grand Theft Auto 3 for a little while, I have to say that the game's biggest weakness, at least to me, is the shooting system. Um, it... Oh, wait, what? I failed the mission? Wait, are you serious? Really? Well, okay, in that case, I gotta go get rid of this two-star wand level that I got, apparently. But that sucks. Okay, so he got away pretty damn quickly there. Um, let me go take the mission again, and let's give that a second try. Okay, guys, we're back. Now that I know a little bit better what to be doing, I think I should be able to do this. Um, I got a much faster car this time, too, and I'm going to park it further away so that I don't accidentally blow it up. But um, before I got cut off there by the mission failing, um, I was going to say the thing that I like the least in this game after having had a chance to play it for a while is probably the shooting. Um, in particular, the aiming mechanics, the lock-on, it really doesn't work that well. Um, in, like, Vice City and San Andreas, when you lock onto an enemy, the camera kind of, like, auto-focuses on them. Or it shifts so that you can see the person you're aiming at easier. Oh, we got him this time. It looks like there's more than one guy in the car, though. Yep, those guys are done for. But, um, yeah, the auto-aim in this game is just really, really terrible. I hope I'm not the only one who thinks that, but I notice a huge difference between, um, this game and especially, like, San Andreas and Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Um, in those games, I thought the aiming worked fine, the shooting mechanic was great. I mean, it's not the best in any video game ever, but it worked. 
And um, in this game, I'm constantly getting into these gun battles, and I'll lock onto an enemy, but then the camera doesn't focus on the enemy, so I can't see if he's dead. I, I can't really see who I'm shooting at. I don't even know if the thing I'm locking onto is an enemy. Sometimes it's a pedestrian. And so um, I feel like that's screwing me up a whole lot. But let's go ahead and take one more mission for Ray. Ray, Ray. Hey, Ray, Ray. Hanging out in the public restroom like a creep. Uh, please don't tell me he's going to be using the facilities. Hey, Jack, over here. Oh, no. Oh, God. Ray, are you secretly Nintendo Capri, son? Because you're in the bathroom. Wrapped him up yesterday. Said they'd be back for some of his stock today. He's gonna need backup, and in return, I'll give you a knockdown rates on any hardware you buy. Ooh, that sounds like a good deal. Self, but the old sciatic is playing up. <laughs> so, uh. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave you to that. Better get some more toilet paper. But enough stealing catchphrases for one day. Um, let's go ahead and. I didn't even catch what was going on because I was so entirely creeped out by the fact that he was talking to us on the shitter. All I heard was something about arms deals and yada yada yada. Um, so let's just head out in the direction of the mission and I'm sure there will be some indication, hopefully for a change. But uh, while I have a second driving on over to our mission guys, I just wanted to say hi, check in with all of you, make sure you're doing well. I'm actually a little bit under the weather here, I think I got the flu from my boss. He left work early the other day because he was feeling sick and um, kind of just left me to cover the last couple hours, but um, I woke up today and I thought I was okay, but my stomach's really starting to act up now, so I just hope that you guys are doing well because honestly I felt a lot better and it's no fun being sick, so I hope that you guys are all well and everything's okay with you. Whoa, is this guy missing an arm? Wait, is that Phil Cassidy? I mean, it doesn't sound like him. It doesn't even look like him, hardly, except for the fact that he's missing an arm. I know that that happened in Vice City. Um, for those of you guys who might not know, Phil Cassidy was a character in Vice City and Vice City Stories. Um, I don't know if he's been in any other games besides those, and... How am I supposed to get that rocket launcher? Do I have to, like, use a car to jump up there and grab it? But, um, he was kind of like a minor character in those games. Well, he was a little bit more major in Vice City Stories, but, um... In Grand Theft Auto Vice City, he had his arm blown off, so... He actually must have been Grand Theft Auto 3 as well. Okay. And oh my god! Oh, I did not mean to throw a grenade. Shit, that was not what I meant to do. Okay, crap. So we're going to be getting bum-rushed by these guys. And I think I'm going to stick with an assault rifle, except that... Crap, these guys are actually really, really good. But, um, it seems like Phil's actually doing pretty well for a guy with one arm. I'm gonna grab that armor, I saw that over there earlier. And, um, okay, it doesn't look like there's too many guys left. I'm assuming they're just all the little green dots on my map. I think we can handle this. Oh shit, unless there's a guy with a shotgun, he just ruins my day. Crap, 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 we got this. Okay, we got one more guy around here, it looks like. So let's see if we can sneak up around here and get him. He's not even shooting at us. Okay, come on, come on. Oh, come on, lock on him, what are you doing? Oh my god, whoa, I almost died there, shit. Please tell me there's some health I can grab somewhere. Oh god, I just hate the lock-on system in this game. It, it sucks, I'm sorry. There's plenty of other things about this game that are great, but the lock-on system is not one of them. I wonder if there's a mod or something I can get to improve it. If, like, there's a mod that makes it work more like San Andreas or Vice City, that would be perfect. I need to remember to look into that some more when I get the chance. That and also getting a map into the game. Because if I had those two features, then I would really have nothing to complain about. Those are the only two things I wish I had. But, um, okay, so I guess we can buy weapons from him. Looks like some really damn good weapons, too. And there's also a rhino tank here. That's pretty badass. Good to know that's there if I ever want it. The rhino tank's really awesome for doing the vigilante missions, but, um... Anyway, guys, I think that's enough for now. Um, time to wrap up the episode for today. So I just want to thank you guys again for joining me. If you enjoyed today's episode, please consider subscribing to me. Once again, my name is Jesus Quesadilla, and by subscribing to me, you can stay updated anytime I post new videos to my channel. But in any case, guys, it has been a blast. And until next time, guys, this is Jesus Quesadilla wishing you well and signing out. Peace!